Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this farm right here, an auto frog light farm. If it looks complicated, it really isn't, and it's pretty easy to make. So basically first, I'm just going to go over how it works, it's really easy. So the first thing is, we have this magma cube spawner, which you can find in a treasure bastion. So, if you find a treasure bastion, you can find a magma cube spawner, and you can just clear it out around it, and then make this farm. And second of all, you're gonna need some frogs. As you can see, I have the three different variants, the orange, green, and white. And the, those different variants are going to get you, I get to the other side of the farm, those different variants are gonna get you these different frog lights, different color frog lights. You'll also get magma cream in this farm, just not as many as you'll get, just not as much magma cream as you'll get at the frog lights. Next thing is the golem, which is in this little containment thing so that it can hit mobs, but mobs cannot hit it. But basically what happens is that a magma cube spawns. Okay, that was, was a little one immediately. But what happens most of the time is that the golem kills it down to this small stage, like when it gets close enough to it. And then the frogs, as you can see, eat it and then spit out the frog lights. Then the last thing is this little uh, containing system, or sorry, storage system. And all it is, is a pretty easy system where it just catches the frog lights as that goes past. And really, you only need these two hoppers. You don't need these ones, it just makes take gets more out of time than just the one. Alright, and now, on to how to build the farm. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is build this little 9x9 nine nine area. And this is where you'll have everything spawning. So, like I said, when you find a treasure bastion, you're going to build all of this around a magma spawner. And the spawner is going to be right here in the middle. So after that, as you can see, or wherever I put it, but you're going to want to put a wall around it. You're not going to have it on this block here. You're just going to put it on a wall just right around it. And as you can see here, it doesn't have to be made out of glass, it just has to be made out of any block. You can really make the walls any height you want, but a good size that works for me is around 9 blocks tall, because I just think that's a good height, so that they aren't able to jump out, you know. Also, if you are really scared about them jumping out, you can always just add a roof like that. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is make this little shape here right under the spawner. So you're gonna want it to be a 3x3 three three thing of iron bars and then these four extra bars here. And then what we're gonna do is get our iron golem right here. So we're just gonna do this shape which is perfectly the size. Oh, okay, well it might take a little fiddling around to actually get it to spawn in here. But once you have, you're going to want it to be just like this. Now what this is going to do is, as you can see here, the uh, golem can kill the magma cube, but the magma cube can't kill the golem, which is perfect for what we're doing. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do before we get the frogs in here is build this formation above the spawner. Four glass and then four iron bars on each side. What this is going to do is fix an issue where the magma cubes like to s spawn on here and then jump on top of there and then just sit there without the golem hitting it. And the magma cubes jump four blocks, hence the size. Okay, yeah, I lied. The real last thing we're going to be doing before the frogs come into this is going to be building this right here to collect all of the items. So basically, we just have this formation going back and forth with all the rails, having the powered rails every here and there, as you can see, with the block of redstone under them to keep it going. And then it eventually hits this block with another powered rail, which sends it back. 
and then it goes into these hoppers. So as you can see, it just picks up all the items that get picked up. Like as you could see, if we just do the or sorry, just do this and drop them all around. Eventually, we should see the grass get all put into here. So if we wait a bit, we can go into here or just wait for it to get back to the chest. And we can see that, I don't know why I got stuck, but you can see there's grass blocks here. Okay, maybe we just need, I don't know why I get stuck. It didn't do that before. It's fine, I probably just didn't have enough power, enough power rails. You can see that's basically just how it works. It takes the power rail, just keeps it going. Probably gonna need more than I put down. And it just picks up the grass blocks and drains it over to this hopper. If you wanted it to pick up all of like the items at once, like as soon as that picks it up, you can make all of this just a giant chain of hoppers, but that would be a lot of iron. I mean, it wouldn't be if you had an iron farm, but you know, I just did a cheapo version. So obviously, the last thing we're going to be doing is getting the clouds in here. You could do this through nether portals. I'm lazy, so I'm going to be cheating. And if you are cheating, you can use this variant tag to change the variance of the frogs, as you can see. And now the farm is complete. So the golem kills these down to the small state, and then the frogs eat them, and then the hop minecart picks them all up and puts them in the chest. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.